Hey there, welcome. In today's lesson, we're going to be looking at some useful ways to improve your vocabulary. The first way is to use busu. So you can use busu on your computer, you can use it on your mobile phone, and busu have kindly sponsored today's lesson. Let me show you what it's like. Basically, busu has different English courses depending on the different level. If you're aiming for band 7 or above, then you want to be doing some of these advanced C1 level lessons. In today's lesson, we're going to be doing some of these B1, so intermediate lessons, just so I can show you what it's like. Okay. You are starting your journey to improve your English in our B1 intermediate course. In this lesson, we will preview some vocabulary that you'll see in the course. If you're new to Busu, you'll learn how our exercises work too. Great. Getaway. Getaway. We're planning a romantic getaway to the south of France. Okay, right, I love that. We've got the word by itself, getaway, and we've also got it in context. We have it in a sentence. Getaway. We're planning a romantic getaway to the south of France. You notice there's also a man's voice and a woman's voice and there's different pronunciation. I think the man's voice is a British accent? Getaway. Yes. And do you recognise this accent? We're planning a romantic getaway to the south of France. I think that's an Australian accent. So we have the word getaway. That was a flashcard of a word you will see early in the B1 course. We use flashcards to present you with new words and phrases. Now let's look at a few other exercises. Okay, let's continue. Our kind host was the highlight of the trip for me. Our kind host was the highlight of the trip for me. Sophia is talking about a good part of her trip. Yes, she is. She is talking about the highlight of the trip. Okay, so we're already learning words like getaway, highlight of the trip, except we're not just looking at the word and having to learn it over and over again, we're seeing it in context, in different forms, and we're answering questions about it. This is a much more effective way to learn vocabulary. Select the sentence that talks about the future. Okay, I plan a trip, so that's the present. I planned a trip, that's the past. I'm going to plan a trip, that's the future. So plan a trip, a nice um, chunk of language there. The island was really beautiful and the beaches were amazing. Okay, so this might be very easy for you. Remember, this is just an intermediate lesson. Ideally, you're going to be doing some of those C1 level lessons. To complete the next two exercises, select the correct word or words. All right. Select the three positive adjectives. Okay, amazing, positive, disappointing, no, horrible, no, helpful, yes, inviting. Great. I'm planning a trip. Next, you'll be asked to create a sentence. Let's try it. The sunset at the beach was unforgettable. Okay, so another useful word here. We've got the word unforgettable and also the sunset. Again, we're not just being given lists of words, we're actively having to make decisions and use these words. Very good. In this next exercise, you can drag and drop the options to answer the question. All right. A city break. A beach holiday, a romantic getaway. Okay, a city break is a short holiday in the city. A beach holiday is a holiday by the sea. And a romantic getaway is a holiday with your partner. Great. So we're also learning some useful collocations like city break, beach holiday, romantic getaway. Great. Now we're going to ask you to write something yourself. Okay, so it's great. We've, um, so far we've um, heard the words and now it's our chance to write the words as well. That bag looks heavy. I'll help you. Heavy. Okay, so a focus on spelling. I think I may want a more laid-back holiday this time. This time. Okay, again, laid-back holiday. Very useful. 
you will also find a few more exercises in the course that we haven't seen in this lesson. So these are also some of the lesson types that we use. So speech recognition exercise to practice speaking. Great, that's where you have to repeat the word and then Busu says whether you have the correct pronunciation. Longer reading texts, dialogues and also conversations. Okay, so that's us finished the intermediate level lesson and we've got this nice animation of Big Ben saying congratulations, well done for completing the lesson. Now the other thing that I want to show you is the review section. Now I've been using Busu to, um, to learn Spanish and so I've got all of these words and phrases that, um, that I've come across in the lessons and I'm able to practice the, these words. The, so things like um, el grupo to mean the band, um, en las afueras, in the suburbs, very useful. And I've been doing a, um, a B1 level Spanish course and I'm halfway through it, which I'm very proud of. Um, so let's do that back for the English words. Um, so if we check out the review section here. Now one thing I really like is that we can um, star the words that we want to learn. So city break, very useful. Getaway, very useful. Laid back, remember we had laid back holiday. Oops, we also need to put getaway. Um, to get in contact with someone, very useful. Uh, and then a city break as well, oh, we've got that. Can't wait to. Now what I like to do is to select my favorite words or the words that I'm trying to learn and to review these words. So let's do that together. To get in contact with someone. To get in contact with someone. Great, we got that correct. Laid back. Laid back. Now I love the way that we've got a photo here to help us to remember the word. So these two people having a relaxing time in the spa on their holiday, they're having a laid back holiday. City break. City break. Oops. Oops. Okay, so you can see I spelled brio instead of break, so I don't get this correct. And as a result, Busu is going to know that this is a word that I need to practice and they're going to remind me of this word later on, which get I away. think is very clever. If you heard that, it was get away. Can't wait to. Can't wait to. City break. Okay, so remember, I got that one wrong before. So Busu has decided to, that I need extra help learning this phrase, city break. So they're going to remind me of it, which is very, very clever. Okay, so that's us completed the vocabulary course. So as you can see, Busu is really useful for learning vocabulary because um, the vocabulary comes in lots of different forms. You hear the vocabulary, you see the vocabulary, you associate the vocabulary with images, and then you also need to answer questions about the vocabulary and write down the words as well. So a focus on spelling and actively recalling that vocabulary. So if you like the look of Busu, then you can check it out from the links below. And you can even try um, all of the premium features of Busu for seven days for free. So check out the links below this video. Now the next way I want to show you is to use Quizlet. So again, Quizlet is something that you can use on your computer. You can also use it on your mobile phone. And basically it is very sophisticated flashcards. Let me show you. So on Quizlet, we go to create and then we can create a study set. So these are all the flashcards that we want to learn. And we can give it a title, we can give it a description. So I've just given it IELTS vocabulary, IELTS vocabulary, I want to practice. And then we can put in words, so like fast food, unhealthy food that you can buy in places like KFC. Maybe we could add um, getaway, the word we learned from Busu. So getaway is a short holiday. 
and then we can also add images to our flashcards to help us remember them. Then when we click create, we've got our flashcard set and we can do different activities um, to try and learn those words. So we can just look through the flashcards or we could test ourselves with the flashcards or games like matching where we have to um, match the definition and the word. So get away, a short holiday. So let's put those together. Fast food, unhealthy food that you can eat buy in places like KFC. And then we can time ourselves. So they've got this gamification function. Now, one thing I really like about Quizlet is um, we can also look at the flashcards made by other people. So we're not always having to create our own flashcards. So if we go to the top and we type in IELTS, then we can see all of the flashcards that people have made around the IELTS exams. Um, and this includes from lots of schools and teachers as well. So let me show you one that I found before that I thought was really useful actually. In fact, I saved it to my homepage. Look at this one, writing task one line graph verbs. So if you're doing the academic IELTS, you'll know that this is really essential vocabulary. So look, someone's put an image, they've put the um, definition and they've put the term. So again, we can take this set and then we can play a game like matching the pairs or to test ourselves. And we can even challenge other people as well. So there's a lot that we can do with this. Um, so we can search for IELTS. We can also search for um, famous teachers. So for example, if we look at, um, what's it, Pauline Cullen has written lots of amazing books on IELTS and sure enough, here are 372 words from her vocabulary book that we can learn. So again, we can look at that flashcard set, we can test ourselves on these words, we can play the matching game, or we can just go through these words. So things like junk food, adulthood, and look, this person's even added the phonetic script to help us with the pronunciation. Bond, adolescence, very useful for writing task two. So we've got um, Pauline Cullen, we've also got a lot of really good um, a lot of really good flashcard sets made by Fiona Wattam, who's another um, very established IELTS, um, IELTS teacher. And she's got a lot of really good um, courses. So look, for example, here she's got all of these um, flashcards on the subject of family. So nature versus nurture, genes, genetic makeup, a lot of advanced vocabulary that can boost your IELTS score. So check out Busu and also check out Quizlet. And um, one thing I would say is, even though it's very appealing just to use the flashcards made by teachers like Fiona Watton and um, IELTS flashcards on task one, a really good idea is to make your own flashcards because the very act of making those flashcards is going to make it easier for you to remember them. The next way to improve your vocabulary, especially for the IELTS writing test, is to use my website, englishprotips.com. So if you go to English Pro Tips, you can sign up here and then afterwards you'll be taken to your dashboard. And in your dashboard, you'll find all of your courses, IELTS questions, model essays, speaking simulations, speaking tests, and lots of PDFs that you can download. Now I wanna show you the model essays because I think they're a great way to learn lots of useful vocabulary for the writing test. So you'll find model essays on lots of the common topics that appear in IELTS. And what I think is so useful about them is they appear in this gap fill format. So you've got the question at the top and then we have to fill in the words to complete the essay. Many people find it difficult to balance the demands of their work and other aspects of their lives, such as family life and hobbies. In this essay, I will mention two problems that contribute to this difficulty. Okay, so you can see that we go through the essay, we have to choose the words, 
And then below that, we have all of the useful vocabulary that appears in this essay. So words like aspect, contribute, material success, and we've got the definition above, and then below that we've got the example sentence where the word appears. So you'll find model essays for all of the common topics that appear in IELTS Writing Task 2, as well as also um, Academic Task 1 and General Task 1 as well. Now the important thing with these model essays is you don't just read them and do the quiz. The ideal thing is that you write the essay as well. So you take the time, you read the essay question and you write your own essay, ideally using some of the vocabulary that you've just used. Another thing on my website that I want to show you is my vocabulary course. So if we scroll down here, we've got the vocabulary course. And um, what the vocabulary course does is it takes you through all of the common topics that appear in IELTS and teaches you advanced words and phrases for those common topics. So a very typical one, in fact, no, let me show you quickly. So you've got all of these common topics that appear regularly in the IELTS test. And if we go into the environment, so a very common topic to appear in IELTS, we've got a little video at the top and then we've got all of these phrases. So words like single use. So we've got um, single use adjective, we've got the definition, an example sentence, and then also some useful collocations. So single use bottles, single use bags, single use plastic. And then the important thing is if we scroll down after all of these advanced words and we've got some vocabulary practice. So promoting economic growth is often at odds with maintaining a Hmm, sustainable environment. Okay, so lots of quizzes and activities to help you remember the advanced vocabulary. And we've got some other quizzes as well. How important is the environment to you? So a little personality quiz. How often do you recycle? Hmm, I recycle all the waste that I can. I'm sure that's the right answer. Which of these is extinct? Well, actually, I don't know. It's certainly not the hippopotamus. It's probably this, the half-striped quagga. Anyway, so it's lots of uh, activities to help you um, learn the vocabulary. We've also got some personalization questions. So write one reason to protect the Earth's ecosystem. And so you can type in your answers to these questions. And then at the very bottom, if you're a studious and diligent student, then you can do the extra practice, which takes you to essays related to the theme of the lesson. So in this case, the lesson is on the environment. So you're going to find model essays on abolishing zoos and on encouraging recycling. So you'll find model essays for all of the different topics. So whether you're doing uh, nature and wildlife, travel, buildings and cities, or skills and learning, you're going to find model essays that um, look at that particular topic and allow you to um, learn more vocabulary to do with that particular topic. So I think that's a really good way to um, make sure that you've learned vocabulary for all of the common topics that appear in the IELTS test. Now, if you're looking for vocabulary for the IELTS speaking test, then look no further than the Keith Speaking Academy. So you can check out Keith's online courses, which have a very, very high level of student satisfaction. So his gold course is his premium best course that you can get. And um, if we go down, I'll show you what one of the lessons is like. So scroll down, scroll down. You can see there's a lot included in this gold course. And what do we have? So we've got all of these different topics. So we've got topics like um, how to answer common questions, the sky and stars, flowers, TV programs, wild animals, history, basically lots of topics that appear in part one, part two, and part three of the speaking test. And we can preview some of these lessons just to see what it's like. So the sky and stars. 
and basically he gives you little activities that you can do. So you'll find a video where Keith teaches you useful vocabulary on this topic and then you can do things like repeat, say the opposite, change the tense, say something true for you. You can do substitution and synonym activities and there's always useful PDFs to download as you go through the course. So you can check out his gold course and also his um, Fluency Get a Band 7 Plus course which has a lot of the common topics that appear in the IELTS speaking test. Now you can also check out his YouTube channel and I think this is particularly useful. If you go to his playlists, you scroll down and you check out his IELTS speaking topics, then you're going to learn a lot of vocabulary on the common topics for IELTS speaking because Keith has done so many live lessons and these are, you know, really comprehensive lessons, an hour and 37 minutes this one is, where he teaches you a lot of useful vocabulary, he shows you model answers and you do quizzes together. So you can see there's 98 videos in this, um, in this playlist and it's on all sorts of topics, so transportation, cities, advertisements, food, intelligent people, movies, famous people, street markets. So make a habit of going through these videos and learning useful vocabulary for all of these topics before you go to do your IELTS speaking test. Now, I know a lot of you like learning vocabulary from books, so I just want to recommend two books that um, I personally think are very useful for learning vocabulary, especially for the IELTS exam. Now, the first one is by Pauline Cullen, who I mentioned earlier, who is basically a total IELTS expert, and she's written Vocabulary for IELTS Advanced with Answers. And basically, um, you'll find so many different activities, um, and so much material to help you learn useful vocabulary for the IELTS test. Um, so just have a look, 25 different units. Um, and I've heard a lot of people really enjoying um, learning from this book. And she's also got her own website, it's key2ielts.com, where you can find, for example, vocabulary for band 6.5, for band 6, and she's also got some vocabulary apps. I haven't tried them out yet, but I'm sure, judging by how good her books are, I'm sure the apps are also really useful. So if you like learning from books, check out Pauline Cullen, who writes absolutely brilliant books on IELTS. And then another book that keeps on getting recommended, and I speak to a lot of students that do very well on the test, and I say, how did you do so well on the test? And they mention this book, so IELTS Band 9 Vocab Secrets from Cambridge IELTS Consultant, which I think sounds a little bit fishy, but um, the book certainly looks very useful. And what you'll find in this book is basically a lot of model answers. So you've got the example topic, um, an, explana an explanation of how to answer the question, and then you'll find a band nine model essay. And then below that, again, you'll find lots of useful vocabulary that appears inside this essay. So things like to subsidize or output or work-life balance to motivate people. So check out Pauline Cullen and also check out IELTS Band 9 Vocab Secrets if you like learning vocabulary from books. The next way to improve your vocabulary is basically a habit that I think is very useful. And that's after you do your IELTS practice tests, so from the Cambridge practice test book, um, especially after the reading test and also after the listening test, basically look through the text or the tape script and look for words that you don't know, especially if those words were the answer to a question. So in this reading test, you'll find words like um, pyramids or monuments or tributes, evolution. And if you don't know what those words are, then just write them in your vocabulary book with a definition. And um, if you make a habit of doing this, then you're going to become more and more accustomed to the type of words and the type of phrases that appear in the IELTS 
tests themselves because you're taking the text and you're taking the words directly from the Cambridge IELTS practice tests. Um, so again, do the test, do the reading test, do the listening test, check your answers, and then afterwards just go through the text, go through the transcript, and highlight any words that you don't know that you want to learn, and write those words with their definition in your vocabulary book. The final and probably most effective way is just to have lots of exposure to English. So a lot of the people that I speak to, they get very high scores in the IELTS test, say they watch a lot of Netflix, or rather they watch a lot of series. So English speaking series with English subtitles. So check out Netflix, find out, find some series that you like. If you find that a lot of the series are actually too difficult for you to understand, even with subtitles, then check out Extra English, which is a series for English learners. It's a little bit silly, but um, they speak slower and they're very expressive with their um, with what they're saying. They make a lot of gestures, so it's easier to follow the storyline and it's easy to follow what's going on and what people are saying. So check out Extra English. Um, read a lot in English. Check out these graded readers where you can learn um, or you can read books um, that are aimed at language learners, so they've taken out all the complicated words. If you find those graded readers um, not that interesting and you'd, you'd rather read the news, then check out The New Scientist, um, where there's lots of articles. Check out also The Guardian. You'll read a lot of articles on The Guardian, and actually a lot of IELTS examiners um, take their inspiration for task to essay topics from things like The New Scientist, The Guardian, also The Economist, and also the BBC. So by reading these articles, you're going to be improving your vocabulary, you're going to be improving your knowledge, and you're also going to be reading the type of articles that examiners are reading when they're looking for inspiration on task two topics or on difficult IELTS speaking questions. So The Economist here, also the BBC is a great source of information and English speaking news that you can learn a lot of vocabulary from. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. I hope a lot of these ideas are gonna help you on your quest to improve your English vocabulary. Best of luck and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye.